In this video, I want to cover uh, CNC programming and understanding G code, kind of give you an overview of what the machine's doing and how the machine does it when it's actually creating and running uh, programs for you. Uh, so I'm going to click on Panels. We'll choose Stripe. And again, I'm using Millwork Cat here to create the uh, G code for you. Here we just have a 24 by 24 panel, three quarters inch thick. Uh, that's important. Remember this. And the uh, layer name is Shape. And the material is MDF. So we have all that, all those things set up for you. I'm just going to insert uh, this panel. So here's our panel. Uh, I'm going to close that. Let's go to our tools. Here, I just want to create some simple uh, operations so it's easy to look at in G code and understand exactly what's going on. So, and I want to have a couple of tool changes so you can actually see how the router makes and knows how to make tool changes. I'm going to take the drill and I'm going to reference the side to add a a hole into. And we're just going to add a single hole. I don't want to add a bunch of line bore holes and stuff yet because I want you to be able to follow what the machine is actually doing. Uh, here's the all the information the machine needs or the uh, we need to for the create the correct G code, I guess I should say. We have a diameter of the hole 0.197, which is five millimeters, uh, a hole depth of 0.77, and the layer name of five millimeter bore, which is important. And the rest of this is basically the locating the operation in the center of the panel, which is what we've done. I'm going to insert that. Now I want to add a dado around this because I want to have three basic operations that you'd find in cabinet making. So I'm going to go to the router, reference the side again, and I have one called center dado, uh, which is basically going to put a six inch by six inch uh, dado in the center of this panel. And it's only going to be a quarter inch deep. And I want you to remember that uh, when I'm showing you the G code here in just a second. So it's a quarter inch deep. It's so a layer called half inch dado. Uh, that's also important. So I'm going to add that to it. Okay, so we have our basic, our 24 by 24 square, a little 6 by 6 square here. And in the center of that 6 by 6 square, we have a little 5 millimeter hole. Uh, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go to router cam, G code main. This is just the offset. This, we want to offset it into the, to the sheet if we have other parts around it. You know, we don't want the router, we want the router to square the panel. We don't want to rely upon a square edge of just putting the exact same size board up there. We want to put a board a little bit bigger than what we need or a full sheet up there so the machine can come in and square the panel. I'm just going to click OK here. This is going to automatically open up our router cam nesting. I'm going to tell it to display the code. Okay, so what happened here? If you zoom in, here's our uh, all our tool paths were automatically created for us. By the way, we named the layers. But understanding what uh, what took place, okay? So uh, a, a percent sign here just tells the controller this is a start of a program. So when you load the file in, the program, the controller on your machine knows uh, program's coming. I didn't save this job or anything like that. So this is just what's in parentheses here is just for you to see, and it's just an unentitled job. A G90 is an important uh, command. It's a G code. It's telling the machine that everything, all the movements from this point on in this program are going to be based off the 00, zero location, which is the lower left hand corner of this part. Uh, an M5 turns off the spindle. We want to make sure the spindle is turned off before we do a tool change. Again, here, this is for the operator. It's telling we're going to do the 5 millimeter bore first. So you, so you can look at the program and say, okay, the machine's going to go do the 5 millimeter bore first so you know exactly what's fixing to happen. Uh, uh, M06 is a tool change. We're getting tool number 2. That's where the 5 millimeter bore is. And we're going to a G43H2, which is basically just telling the machine to reference that height offset of number 2, which happens to be the number 2 tool. Uh, our uh, spindle speed is 10,000. S is, stands for spindle speed. It's 10,000 RPMs. Uh, an M three turns on the spindle. So at this point in the G code, uh, we've gone and changed the tool. We should have tool number two in the um, spindle. Uh, it should be spinning at 10,000 RPMs. And the next thing we're going to do is actually get into the uh, movements. A G zero just tells the machine uh, to go as fast as its uh, internal programming is set to do. We're going to move in position uh, to 12 point 325 and Y is 12.325. That's why I wanted to center that hole because 
what it's doing is taking this spindle and positioning itself right over this hole and the part was you know 12 by was 24 by 24 and the center of that was 12 by 12. The point 325 is this little bit of space we have left over around the part. So it's, it's centered itself in the center of this part. It's going to drop itself down right above. Here's where it's going to, to go to Z0.875. And the part's three quarters of an inch thick. So it's going to lower itself down to an eighth inch above the part. And then here where we have a, a G1, Z0, 0 0.20, that's that two thousandths into the spool board. So we're going, to, we're going to drill all the way through the part. And then as soon as that's done, we're going to raise back up. So we're going G0 again to 2. 0.25. So we're going, to, we're going to drop in, drill the hole, and then raise back up out of the part because you want to, the machine's going to do exactly what you tell it to do. So once we've drilled into the part, we want to back back out of the part before we make any other type of movement because we don't want to break the drill bit. Uh, and then we're going to turn the spindle off. An M5 turns off that spindle again. Now we're going to go back and get uh, the half inch compression to do this half inch dado. So we're telling the machine an M06, which again, look up here it's a tool change this time we're going to get tool number four and we're going to reference a G43 H4 which is the height offset in the stored in the controller of, of tool number four we're going to make a spindle speed change uh, this time we're going to go to 16,500 RPMs uh, we're going to turn the spindle on an M3 and then again we're going to come back to the uh, to the center of this part we're, we're, here's your 12.325 and your 12.325 in X and Y and we're still above the part uh, two and a quarter inches we, we remained that we've kept that constant height over here we're gonna lower down just like we did on the drill to right above the part we don't want to dive in way up in the air and start cutting this part so we, we're gonna lower ourselves down to just above the part eighth inch above the part and then we're going to start cutting this dado from the center of the dado out. And if you look, that's what we're doing here. We're, we're just working our way out of the dado. We're going to keep the tool down. We're going to maintain this constant depth of Z0.5. Remember the, uh, the part was three quarters of an inch thick. We're going in a quarter inch dado. So we're going to have 5.5 left over. That's the thickness of, that's underneath the dado. That's the thickness of the part. We're above the spool board a half of an inch. So, and then we're just going to work our way out from the center to we totally machine out uh, this dado. If you scroll all the way down through all this, okay, when it finishes doing that, when it makes its last uh, pass, it's going to instantly rise up to two and a quarter inches again. We're going to turn the spindle off again. Uh, we're going to get the 3H compression to cut the layer name shape. Uh, which is the name of the outside of the part and then we're going to move we're going to change the spindle speed again to 18,000 RPMs we're going to turn the spindle on uh, we're going to move uh, into position lower ourselves down and here we have a lead in and lead out so if you look here here's our lead in so we're not right centered because we're not just dropping in or anything like that we're going to actually lead you know we're going to ramp in go around the part come back and wrap out of the part. So, and then when it goes all the way around the part, and again we're, we're maintaining that constant depth of Z minus point zero two two thousandths into the spool board. And then when we do our last, when we come all the way back around, we're going to raise the tool up. We're going to turn the spindle off, and then this X forty five Y six Z two and a quarter. We're just going to go park the uh, the spindle out of the way so you can remove the material from the table. And M30 just tells the machine that's the end of the program. So it knows it's, it's, it's run the entire program and the machine's done. Uh, that's a quick overview of how you create G-code or looking at CNC programming. And again, you can uh, write this yourself. It's just understanding or what's going on uh, when you're actually programming a CNC machine. Uh, thank you uh, for your time.